From chip bags to microwave containers, plastics are durable, low cost, and lightweight. But less than 9% of plastic used in our state ever gets recycled. The waste is tough to convert into anything of real value. So in tonight's Project Earth, thanks to some Bay Area researchers, a major step forward. Ann Makovic breaks it all down. Every day, California dumps about 15,000 tons of plastic into landfills. That is enough plastic waste to cover the entire main campus of Cal, three feet deep every single day. Yeah. For undergrads, Monterey, Sarish, and Manas Couture, yes. throwaway plastics are a huge problem. They're not really biodegradable, and it takes like millions and millions of years for things to actually break down and stuff like that. It is pretty hard, and it is more convenient to use plastic water bottles, unfortunately. Now scientists at Cal and Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory have discovered a new approach to tackle hard to recycle plastics. Grad student RJ Conk and UC professor John Hartwig are part of the team. The details are revealed in a new report published in the prestigious journal Science. We take this plastic that's a solid and we do chemical reactions on it and we turn it into a gas. The chemistry we're able to do with waste plastic definitely opens up a new path for recycling. The scientists developed a catalytic process that can vaporize the two most common types of plastic waste, the kind found in most single-use plastic bags and the stuff used in hard plastics. It breaks these plastics down into their basic building blocks, allowing them to be turned into valuable new products. It was probably going to bring something new to the table and probably work quite well. One big hurdle, finding catalysts that are cheap, plentiful and recyclable. RJ found them in sodium and tungsten. I was certainly uh, excited and surprised when RJ came and presented to me um, that he had overcome those hurdles and we had uh, actually developed a process to be able to do this. Unlike some chemical recycling, the process uses less energy, produces no methane gas, and if commercialized, will reduce the need to make new plastics from fossil fuel, the primary cause of climate change. Climate change is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, concern that our generation has. I mean, it's something that is immediately going to affect us and affect our children especially. Back on Sproul Plaza, these students want to know if this will work in the real world. If we put it in the recycling bin, it's actually getting recycled and not just going straight to landfill. Until then, the goal is to reduce, reuse, and compost. So that's a bit about how we're staying conscious at you see Berkeley, yeah. Building <laughs> solutions, breaking chemical bonds one bottle at a time.